Good morning. Welcome to Pike Creek Farm. My name is Renee. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping in. I normally do videos on canning and baking and cooking and vintage recipes and I throw in some life events along the way and that's what today is. Today is um, just an update and um, also a mail call. So let's get to the most important and fun thing. First of all, I had this package in my mail and Andrea from Digging for Health, great channel. I will post it down below. Held a really fun pumpkin palooza collaboration the first week of October. We all had, had um, different recipes and just a great variety. And hers were really healthy ones. And but then she had some drawings at the end for everyone that that commented and for the collaborators. And I was fortunate enough to be one of the names drawn. And so I'm gonna tell you, show you what, not tell you, but show you what I was given. The first thing is an apron. And I'm not sure if she made it or not. It's very cute. I'm going to wear it today when I'm in the kitchen. She also sent me cookbook with pumpkin recipes and we love pumpkin here so I'm, I'm looking forward to checking these all out um, this I haven't opened yet a honey candle isn't that cute Made out of not you know beeswax then this is something I'm really excited about. She's a great gardener and gardening is something that we do, but we're trying to become better at and expand. And next year my husband has plans. So he was excited when I showed him these. She sent me a bunch of pumpkin um, seeds and including sugar pie pumpkin, which I'm familiar with and have plant have, I've never planted them growing them myself. I have bought them though and made pumpkin desserts from. Then there's Howden pumpkin, Seminole pumpkin, Baby Boo pumpkin, and Jack B. Little pumpkin. So I'm gonna have to look these all up, see if they're ones that you cook with or if they're decorative or whatever. I know you can always eat the seeds too, but so we're looking forward to planting these in the spring. And I have been getting a weekly vegetable box from our local farmer. He has a great produce farm and $15 we get this box. It has so many things in it. And today it had an acorn squash and eggplant and corn and tomatoes, zucchini, and it had butternut squash. And I got one of these last week too. So my project today, and then I will be posting a video early in the week, is butternut squash soup base and you have sweet potatoes in it and butternut squash and onion and apple, and it's in chicken broth with some spices. It's all in chunks, you can't puree it, but when you go to, I'm gonna do it in pints for my lunches at work, and all I have to do is puree it when I go to heat it up, add a little bit of coconut milk or half and half or heavy cream, top it with some pepitas or croutons or some bacon, a little bit of Greek yogurt on it is really good. So I'm looking forward to having grab and go lunches that will be healthy and tasty. So I'm working on that. I also got some butternut buttercup squashes from him. So I'm trying to figure out if I'm just gonna bake these and have them as a vegetable tonight this week, one night. We've been busy processing what we can. Um, our little pears, still have some of those. So thinking of just doing some more brown sugar pears because that's quick and easy, more than the preserves. And I wanted to also give an update. A couple of weeks ago, I did an update and I mentioned my daughter had to go in for a scan for her cancer and everything. She's actually on one year now scans and everything was fine with her checkup. So we go back in six months. So that was good news and she got moved yesterday and starts her new job in a week. So life is good for her. But and thank you everyone for inquiring. And check out my community post. I Next week we have a potluck at church. I have a few different ideas and I'm going to do a video on whichever one gets the most votes. So 
thank you for stopping in this Saturday. I truly appreciate it. And thank you, Andrea, for everything, including this awesome apron and the recipes and the pumpkin seeds. Check out Digging for Health. I will have her link below. They are almost at a thousand subscribers, which is amazing. And I think you'll enjoy her content. So thank you for stopping by Pike Creek Farm. My name is Renee. I hope you come back. Um, if you want to watch some of my videos, I would appreciate it. Subscribe to my channel. I'd be glad to have you here. Thank you so much and see you next time at Pike Creek Farm.